There's the dinette, which folds down into a bed. You can tap that light to turn it on. Up here, bedding for four pillows, four blankets. We put two people up there, two little people down there. Sheets included for this and this. These guys have a little tap light up there too. And up there. You pull that whole second mattress down and it fills that up. There's your ladder. Those guys have a swivel TV. You loosen this and this, and then the whole thing swivels out so you can watch it from sitting at this couch. While you're driving, you wanna have it tightened up right here and right here so it doesn't swivel out when you push on the gas or the brakes. Pop a DVD in there and it'll automatically play. Plug in your own thing right there so the kids can play Nintendo or you could watch your Roku TV. Tons of cabinets for storage for your food, chips, drinks, whatever. Paper plates and forks and knives, napkins, cups, all that stuff. Cleaning stuff, extra garbage bags. Cooking stuff. This little cookie sheet fits in this oven. Big mixing bowl, frying pan, pot, blocks. Here's your stove and oven. You've got to light the pilot light. There it is, right there. It's way back there. Use the lighter, get way back there and light it. Stove. It lights itself. You lift this glass top all the way. It folds back on like that. And then you turn these gas valves on, off, on, off. And this clicks an igniter in all three. Don't drive with that still up or it'll smash down and crash. Big sink. Water works either when you're on hose pressure or when you come over here and turn on the water pump. You can hear it click on. Keeps the system pressurized. If you need hot water for your shower or doing dishes or something, gas water heater, click that on and you'll hear it flame up. Electric water heater will drain your battery. Don't do that unless you're on plugged in at the RV park. Otherwise, you'll always prefer to use gas. Gas goes a long way in this. It's the propane. The only things that use propane are the room heater and the water heater and the stove and oven lasts a long time. Here's the light switches that power these. You can also touch them. To start the generator, if it's been a while, hold it down on prime. So you see that light come on for about three or four seconds. And that pumps a little bit of gasoline into the starter and push start. When it's blinking, it's doing the starting. When it's solid, that means it's on. To kill the generator, click it down once and it kills. When the generator's on, every single plug in this place has power. Like this, and this. Or if you're plugged in at the RV park, these will get power. They have them over here. There's one under the table over there. There's a couple up there for those guys. And there's one in the back here, around that corner. If you're not plugged in and you're not running generator, the only ones that have power are this cigarette lighter there, which you plug in the TV with. This plugs in the TV. Uh, when you're on generator and RV park power, then this one gets power too if you wanted to plug in your Nintendo or something. The other one that has power all the time on just batteries is this little USB right there. There's a USB power and there's a regular 110 like your house at home power. The USB is power all the time so that you can charge your phone when you're on this bed at night. Um, or if you're plugged in at the RV park or using your generator, the regular plug right there will have power too. This is the controls to open this slide out room. You just click it up or down and it slides out.
Before you slide it out, you want to make sure there's nothing outside like trees or your neighbor's fence or anything. Once it's slid out, this mattress slides down that way and that one slides this way to have a full size. All your sheets for the whole place are in here. This is the fitted sheet for back here and the top sheet. There's a sheet for the dinette and a sheet for that up bed up there. These two fans, one is USB powered, one is cigarette lighter powered. So you can have a fan back here and you can plug in a fan up there by the TV. And so those guys have a cigarette lighter powered fan. The room just goes in and out and it'll stop when it's done and let off the switch. Let's come in. Stopped. If you pack anything in the cabinets, great. If you pack it on the floor, right there for example, and you put out the room, it'll tear this off. If you pack things right here, you won't notice, but when you push on the gas and push on the brakes, things will tip over, cause damage like that. As much as you can. Use cupboards, drawers, cabinets. There's a lot of room to put stuff. There's also the outdoor cabinets around the outside. That way your stuff doesn't tip over and break itself or break the motorhome. Fridge and freezer. Pretty self-explanatory. Microwave. It only has power on plugged in at the RV park or running the generator. These are the light switches for the bathroom light here and the master light back here. Same thing, when those are turned on, you can tap, turn them on or off. This is how you run the AC. Push this until you see this little light switch from fan, cool, furnace. When you're on furnace, it'll work just on the batteries because you can go all night. Batteries click on the gas, which clicks on a heater for you. Fan and cool require either generator or plugged in at the RV park. They just won't work. You can leave it on here all day and nothing will happen unless you're on fan, unless you're on RV park or generator. That's the AC up there. If you have it open like this, the AC will blow out this. If you close this, it redirects all the air through these vents throughout. You can open them, you can rotate them, aim them wherever you want. The AC throughout. Use the shower towels. These are little tablets that you drop in the toilet when you first leave and it makes it so it doesn't stink so bad. Turn on the water. There's a shower towel hanger. There's the floor mat for after you get out of the shower and you can wipe your feet on it, you know. To avoid running out of water when you're on your trip, if you're camping out away from RV parks, you can turn on the water till you get it warm just right how you like it. And then you use this valve to shut it off and on. Have your water coming out, get yourself wet, turn that off, turn it on. If you take a shower, like a long, long teenager shower, you'll run out of water really fast. This is the toilet to uh, make it so there's even less smell escaping up here into the cabin. You have your foot pedal there. Push the foot pedal a little bit. Releases water into the toilet. Push it all the way. It opens that hole and everything goes down. If you leave just a little bit of water in there, it makes it so that no smells can escape up from the holding tank into the cabin here. Make everyone feel sick. Vents that look like this are for the heater. So if you put shoes or your suitcase or anything in front of these vents, you'll have nice warm shoes, but they won't allow heat to escape to all of these. The white ones on the roof are the air conditioning. The black ones near the floor are the heater. There's another one. There's another one. So heat goes throughout. Invert this dinette into the bed. Get under here and loosen this. The table pops off. This post pops out. And then you slide the cushions, slide the cushions. Once this is resting right here and right here, this little ridge is just enough to hold that tabletop so that you've got that bench, this solid tabletop, that bench, and the cushions lay across all of them. 
this is Velcro and that wraps right here on all these Velcro hoops to block it so that light doesn't come in there in the morning. And so you have privacy back here in case there's someone walking around out there and you're just still in your pajamas. This curtain will close to give a little privacy back there. Not a whole lot of room, so when you're coming out of the shower, it's hard to get dressed in the toilet room. You'll want to close this, and then you have all the space you need right there to stand around and get dressed. Or so that there's privacy to that bed there. Before you start driving, you want to make sure all these clasps are set. Fridge and freezer, you don't want to drive with those open. Of course, it'll let out all your hot cold air, but this would also swing open. And this catch for the curtain will damage the fridge. Any drawers that are left open, you turn side to side in the in the driver's seat. Uh, these will fly open and break off and cause damage. Just make sure everything's closed. If you have pots and pans up here, they'll fall off. If someone has their drinks right here, they'll fall. You just have to have everything put away when you start driving. 